A possible breakthrough tonight in autism research. For the first time, scientists may have found the root cause in the brains of autistic children. TV 1055's Dr. Max Gomez reports that there's a drug that might repair that damage. It was a lack of language development in little Eric Sadowski that first gave his parents a clue that he might be autistic. Then other signs showed up. He did a lot of hand flapping and things of that sort. Uh, he did not look people in the eye except for his, for his mom. And like many autistic kids, too much stimulation was a problem. Crowds were, were impossible for him to manage for a very long time. And too much stimulus yeah, that they couldn't filter. Too much stuff. He could, it was too, too many things going on. And now in this lab at Columbia University, researchers may have figured out why. It has to do with connections between brain cells called synapses. You make many, uh, more than you're going to need, and then you have to uh, decrease the number as someone gets older and we call that pruning away uh, unneeded synapses. In other words, we all normally make too many connections between our brain cells, but then we reduce them. Autistic brains can't do the pruning. Here's a neuron from an autistic brain and one from a normal brain. All those excess bumps or synapses are the problem. It's caused by a genetic defect that blocks a kind of garbage disposal system in cells. Even though the neuron, the neuron may want to prune its synapses, it's unable to do so. So the unpruned synapses build up and you have too many connections. But when researchers gave autistic-like mice an immunosuppressing drug called rapamycin, they not only reduced those excess connections, their behavior normalized. Treatment even after autism develops. Now, this drug has just been tried in mice. It is approved for use in human organ transplants, but it does have a lot of side effects. And not all autism is the same, so this may not be the problem in all cases. But it is the first time something has been shown to alter the underlying defect in autistic brains after it develops. Dr. Max Gomez, TV 1055.